Good. You're finally here. Now help me close this, would you? How does that work exactly? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? You just wiggle your fingers and boom. Rift closes. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvas, most recently of Minrathus. How do you do? Watch yourself. The pretty ones are always the worst. Suspicious friends you have here. Magister Alexius was once my mentor, so my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. I was expecting Felix to be here. I'm sure he's on his way. He was to give you the note, then meet us here after ditching his father. Alexius couldn't jump to Felix's side fast enough when he pretended to be faint. Is something wrong with him? He's had some lingering illness for months. Felix is an only child, and Alexius is being a mother hen, most likely. Are you a magister? All right, let's say this once. I'm a mage from Tevinter, but not a member of the magisterium. I know southerners use the terms interchangeably, but that only makes you sound like barbarians. You're betraying your mentor because... Alexius was my mentor. Meaning he's not any longer, not for some time. Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. He arranged it so he could arrive here just after the Divine died. You catch on quick. That is fascinating, if true, and almost certainly dangerous. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down. Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable, and it's unraveling the world. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult, to Vinter Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. Alexius is your father. Why are you working against him? For the same reason Dorian works against him. I love my father, and I love my country. But this? Cults? Time magic? What he's doing now is madness. For his own sake. You have to stop him. It would also be nice if he didn't rip a hole in time. There's already a hole in the sky. 
Why would he rearrange time and indenture the Mage Rebellion just to get to me? They're obsessed with you, but I don't know why. Perhaps because you survived the Temple of Sacred Ashes. You can close the rifts. Uh, maybe there's a connection. Or they see you as a threat. If the Venatori are behind those rifts or the breach in the sky, they're even worse than I thought. Do you have any suggestions? You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. <laughs>